Hi, I'm Doug. I'm with Emergency Plumbing, Heating and Air in Delaware, Ohio. We're going to show you how to install the Quick John Premier Ship to Home by Zoller. All right, the instructions. That is the discharge adapter. And this is the tank itself here with the pump in it. All right, so this piece you always want to set on the ground. All right, so we're going to be really careful with this, not to break it. There's the tank of the Zoller Quick John. I don't know if you can see that. There's the insides of it. Fill valve, flush valve, fill tube. And we got the connections where it connects to the, the bowl and then the water line makes the connection. So. And last but not least, the toilet bowl. Get it down here. This is pretty much all our parts, everything we need to put this thing in. We already have installed the water line valve and the discharge point and the vent. All right, so I like to start with our tanked bowl and we'll grab our tools. Get these ready. Get these ready. All right, so we'll go ahead and open up the tanked bowl kit, see what, see what they gave us here from Zoller. Um, that's the tankable washer. And before you actually put the tankable washer on, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that nut and the seal here is tight. So we wanna just grab our wrench, and I might need a bigger one, but this one will work for now. We'll just give it a little, give it a little turn, just make sure it's snugged up. And we have our <clears throat> tankable, tankable nuts and washers. He's opened up. Okay, so we are going to put the tank to bowl gasket on. Just want to make sure that these edges, the flat edges, sit flat on here and down on this edge here on the, uh, the nut that holds the flush valve in. So we'll get that on there nice and tight all the way down. And we'll get these bolts put down in here let's put it down through there let's turn this around all right now we have to line those bolts up with those holes in the tank not too hard i don't know if you can see that but we got it all the way down here and we're going to start putting these friction washers on with these nuts that hold the tank on so you want to make sure you hold this tank while you're doing this you don't want anything to fall and break so I'm going to reach down in here like this and I'm going to hold this nut just with my or this bolt with my hand just to make sure that we get the nut and the friction washer on the bottom here so it's going to be hard to see I don't know if you can see that from the other angle there you go we'll do the other one now now you see this tank's not going to fall it's a little crooked but it won't fall all right now before we tighten this all the way up we just want to make sure that this tank is straight to the bowl. And if you push down a little bit on the tank while you're tightening it, it's going to make it a little bit easier. Grab our wrench and we'll give it a couple of little turns because we got it as tight as we can by hand. And you just want to make sure that you compress that seal enough to where it's going to seal between these two pieces of porcelain. Go back and forth. Check and make sure it's not loose. And that is the tank insulation onto the bowl. We have gotten to the point where we've put the tank and bowl together. We've unboxed everything, got it set out where we can see it all. We know what we have. We are going to kind of just dry fit everything, make sure that our drains and our water are in the right spot. And we'll make sure that we're ready to start glue and pipe together. Let's set this toilet up against the wall. We'll get this tank put in. On our tank, we have our discharge and our vent. Um, we pre-installed the vent connection up here, pre-installed the drain connection, the discharge right here. Our water line is ready to go. And as you can see in the tank, our fill valve is on uh, the left side of the toilet. So that's where it will go. We'll pick this thing up and we'll kind of get it close get it set in place here just close so we know where we want it make sure when you're planning the install on this that you have your 
tank and you have enough space between your wall and your tank that you can get these, um, the vent and the discharge piped into these spots. Now keep in mind, you can order a extension kit and you can put this tank on the other side of your wall. Flip these connections around, these two, the drain and vent, and come in from the other way. So then you can get this out of sight, you know, and, it's, and it looks nicer in your bathroom with, with that behind the wall. So all, all you'll really see is a, is a tube coming from the toilet down here to this box going through the wall. So in this install, we're gonna keep it on this side of the wall. If I get over here, you can kind of see that we have the, this adapter and these hose clamps. And that's how you're gonna make that connection right there. You're gonna put this, this side over the toilet. And it is two different sizes. You can kind of see that. Um, that'll go over there and, and this will go, and this will make the connection there. We'll just slide the toilet back. We can get our water line in here. Um, before we actually get everything installed, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the tank where everything goes and where the pump is. So uh, anyways, these are knockouts and you can connect a shower and a sink. There's another one on the other side right here. So you can get your sink connected you can get your shower connected. Basically you can put a whole bathroom in above the floor without having to break any concrete or without getting into a crawl space, things like that. Um, and inside of this, Inside of this little guy right here is this half horse Zoller uh, grinder pump. It'll do 250,000 cuts per minute and it will pretty much take out most anything you can throw at it. So we'll put this back on. This has a quick, quick connect, easy release tabs on the side. All right, so we're gonna pre-install this on this tank here. Um, 5 8 nut driver. So again, I'm going to slide this under here. This is our vent 90 that, that came off, and this is the seal for it. It's going to be much easier to put the seal back in if you put it in without the fitting in it. And then you can push the fitting down in there. I do want to move this toilet out a smidge just to give myself some room to connect that drain and water line. So I like that about, I like that right there. Let's go ahead and grab our, our discharge connection. This thing's pretty easy to go in. It's got the pre-installed check valve right there. So if you're running it up, you know, a significant amount, that's gonna stop any water from draining back into the tank itself, into the pump tank. Um, it's very important to have a check valve. Uh, if, if you don't, that pump is gonna run continuously. It's going to it's going to recycle the water and have to run all the time. So this is the nut that we use for the connection to the tank. Here I'm going to turn this so you guys can see how this goes in. And it's got this o-ring right here just to seal it. This gasket seals it right there. Put that right in there and we'll tighten that down. Again it doesn't have to be super 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 tight. Um, anytime you have a, a washer or a rubber o-ring or something like that, a lot of times hand tight is good. Now don't tighten this too much right now. I'm going to back it out a little bit just because you might want to be able to swivel this and this also. All right, so we'll set this back in place. And we'll go ahead and start connecting our drain. Slide this baby back. Now you see how I was talking about earlier, I was talking about how we really want to make sure that we have enough distance between the vent and your connection points. As you can see here, I, I did a dry fit of some of these pipes and that's how we're gonna put them in for now. So I'm going to remove the toilet from that just to give myself access to be able to run these, these lines, the discharge line and the vent line. So we'll take this off here. Get this thing backed up a little bit, give us some space to work. Our, um, our vent line, we'll go ahead and get that installed first. Um, again, I'm not gonna glue any of this stuff because we, we just want to show you how it all goes together. As you can see, we should be able to glue that together and get it pretty much straight. 
and now we'll put the discharge together. Slide it right in there, and we'll tighten this down. This is the nut that will hold that discharge and, and compress that gasket, make a good seal. That's the tank install. That's about all you have to do besides plug it in. Um, now we'll go ahead and slide the toilet back. We'll get that. So I brought a few, brought a few different size supply lines just to make sure we get the right size. And that should be good. That'll, that'll tighten right on there, give us enough space to do this. We've got the water line installed. We'll go ahead and get that toilet seat on there. And you can see the nuts and the bolts that they give you. I'll get this, get this started on here. Once you get it in there, grab your screwdriver. And go ahead and just make sure it's tight. And then snap these covers on. All right. Okay. So we're going to take a look inside the tank here and make the adjustments that Zoller uh, has in their instructions. Um, so we'll pull this adapter off. This is the overflow tube uh, connector. This is what's going to connect this tube from the fill valve right here to the overflow tube. Um, and this helps fill the bowl to the proper level when you flush the toilet. So first thing, we got to make sure these don't interfere with each other. So we don't want the handle to drop down on this or this. So we're going to go ahead and turn this out of the way. And now you can see the handle's free. So is the float on the fill valve. And now we can go ahead and use our connector for our fill tube right on there like that and just place it on your overflow tube and that is the adjustments that you need to make before you start filling this thing up um, so we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on we'll step back take a look at it. Uh, last but not least um, you do have to mount the toilet um, just like a standard toilet has the holes here in here um, Zoller gives you your screws and your plastic washers to hold the toilet down. I don't know if you can see all those pieces. We're not going to use the anchors because we're screwing right into wood. So we don't need those. And we will, if I can get this out, we'll go ahead and screw this down. Mount it to the floor because you don't want it wobbling when you're using the restroom. And again, don't over tighten. This thing just has to be snugged up. All right, so we've shown you the unboxing of the Quick John Premier by Zoller. Um, we assembled it and we've also connected the drains and water lines. Now we're going to give it the true test. Get this thing filled up way more than normal, way more than your average use. And we'll see what happens. Looks like it'll take about anything you can throw at it. <laughs> 